Hello everybody, Cub Fan here. Just wanted to shoot a quick video and show off a couple of pickups I got. Nothing huge, nothing big, but just a couple of things for the PC that kind of make me happy. So let's get right into it. Um, so what I got is I got a uh, Hall of Very Good, a future Hall of Famer, maybe possibly two, and um, some just some random stuff. So we'll get right into it. The first one we got here is uh, I picked up this uh, 2004 SP Authentics, or is it SP Prospects? It's the Matt Fox, but it's got the little Louis Tiant auto in it as well. Um, story about Matt Fox, he's actually, um, he's uh, one of our sales reps at work. So uh, that's kind of cool. Um, talked to him a little bit about baseball and everything like that. He's actually signed a few cards for me, but I picked this one up. Uh, thought that was just kind of cool. So I know him. He talks about baseball with me. I think it's kind of cool. So I'm picking up some of his cards. Um, another one is, is I picked up this um, Aaron Judge. Uh, not something I was looking for. Um, but I another card I was looking for, I picked up. Uh, I picked this up from the same seller. So it was an impulse buy. Didn't want it. Didn't need it. But um, the seller had couple of things I was looking at and so just went ahead and pulled the trigger on it and the one that I did get from the same seller was the 2012 Bryce Harper um, I believe this guy's gonna be a future Hall of Famer he's a star um, now this is from series two and I guess they call this the the leg up um, which is um, I have a hard time following all the short prints and everything like that but just a really sharp card guy's gonna be a hall of famer someday whether you like it or not he's gonna be and uh so i picked up another one of his rookie cards and i got it from the same seller as the aaron judge so i was able to combine some shipping um this last buy um not the last one but this next one um i actually picked this up because i was i was i was pissed because uh, every year, I, I don't, I'm not a big pack ripper, but I always buy the series tops and I always buy uh, some Bowman cards looking for that year's rookies. And um, I went through a crap ton of series one. I pulled everybody. I pulled the whole, I feel like I have the whole set. I pulled everybody but this card. I bought a couple blasters, uh, a couple hangers, even some fat packs. Pulled everybody, pulled the Jason Dominguez, the Evan Carter, pulled them all, the Jordan Lawler, but did not pull this one. So I finally just went on eBay, pulled the trigger, bought the damn card, and now I have it. Paid five bucks for it versus all the $60, $70 I spent on all the packs, but there he is. I got the Ellie De La Cruz. Um, just a hot guy. Like it. I like the way he plays the game. So I had to go and pick it up. Now this last one is I picked up the 63 Tops Billy Freehand. And uh, not a huge card, but I do like the uh, rookie cards of the forget Forgotten Stars. Uh, I don't think this guy is a Hall of Famer, but guy put together a pretty good playing career. He only played 14 seasons. He's an 11-time All-Star. I think he was a four- or five-time Gold Glove winner. Um, just a really solid player. He was uh, decent offensively. Um, from what I hear and what I can see, um, he was pretty good defensively and offensively. So, I mean, um, do I think he's a Hall of Famer? No, he didn't quite put those types of numbers up, but... It makes you take a look at him now. When you look at the caliber of players that are getting in now and the things that they say about him, you know, it's like, well, he played the toughest position and he performed at a high level for a really long time. Guys, I'm talking about like Joe Maurer. Those are the things that they say about him. And and then when you say those things about Joe Maurer, you kind of have to look at Bill Freehand again. Now, he wasn't... 
he didn't put up the same numbers offensively that Joe Maurer did, but he, you know, hit for a little bit more power. Um, guy played in the 60s. He played a tough position at a tough time. I don't know. Um, I don't think he is one, but, you know, you have to take another look at him. But either way, it was a card I wanted for the PC. I'm really happy to get it. It's uh, really sharp. I was really happy about it. Um, looks pretty well centered on the front. Um, not so much on the back, but that's okay. Don't look at the back very often, but just a really sharp card and I didn't pay a lot for it. It's got good color. So there it is. So tell me what you think. Am I full of crap or what? But there it is. Thanks for watching, guys.